Hi everyone, welcome to the Yarn Necklaces channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this crocheted seashell necklace. And I'm really excited about this one because it combines two of my favorite things, seashells and crocheting. You can adjust the length of this necklace because it just has a little tie on the top. So you can make it long or short, even turn it into a choker. So let's gather our supplies and get started. Here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need a scissors, a crochet hook. I'm using a USE size four, 3.5 millimeter hook. And you'll need some cowrie seashells. You really only need like seven of them. I just put like a little pile here and then I'm gonna pick out which ones I think would look nice in there. And then also this is some bamboo yarn and it's about a millimeter and a half thick. So if you have something similar to that, it could probably be cotton yarn or something else. That's fine too. And I cut this little piece of wire to help me thread the yarn um, through the beads. So that's optional, but it'll definitely help you out if you have a little, just a piece of wire and I folded it in half. And a ruler in case you wanna measure and see how long things are. Um, we're gonna take our, our bamboo yarn and make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then um, we're going to put a seashell on there. And actually what I want to do before I start that is pick out my seashells. I like the way it looks if you have like a big seashell in the middle. So that's probably the biggest one I have here. Oops. We'll start with that one in the middle and then kind of get smaller as you go out. Do that one, this one. I think I'll go with those. So we need seven of them. And I'll set these aside. So I'm gonna start from one side. I'm gonna to need to string a seashell on here. And the reason I didn't string them on first is because I tried that and when I did that, the seashell ended up sideways. So um, you don't want your necklace to have sideways seashells, so we're gonna have to do it this way. So what you do is you can take your wire, and this is just gonna be like a needle threader. So just string that through there, and then you wanna go the same direction, so I'm gonna go from back to front. Um, this is, I consider that the front of the seashell, and that the back. thread it through here, and then it kind of makes a loop right here. So you're gonna take your crochet hook and pull through that loop. And actually, I think I'm going to tighten it first. Yeah, that's how I did it, okay. So you wanna tighten it just by pulling this thread here and make a chain. And then from there, you're going to chain seven. And I apologize, I'm using black yarn, so it is kind of hard to see. So I'll try and focus a little bit better on here. So we chain seven, and then we're gonna thread on another seashell. So we're gonna take our wire Take our seashell and go back to front. And then you can just pull it like this, make it tight and then it's easier to do your chain. And I noticed that this one is actually upside down. At least I consider that upside down. So I'm gonna turn that this way. I feel like it works out better if you have them all the same direction. So you can see like the wider part is up here and the more narrow parts down here. Now it just depends on how you wanna make your necklace. You don't have to do that. Or you could have it go the other way. You could have this part on the top and the thicker part on the bottom. It's up to you. 
So we have that tight on there, and then we're going to do a chain. And I think I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more. Just pull on it like that, and that makes it tighter. And then we're going to chain seven again. And you're going to repeat this process until you get to the end. That's seven. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's thread our seashell on again. And now that we've put our last one on there, we are going to chain four, and then that is going to be like our end, and then we're going to chain another three, and then we're going to single crochet in the fourth chain from the seashell. So we've turned our work and now we are going to count from here. This is our our chain with the seashell. So from there we're going to do one, two, three, four. And this ends up being the middle chain of in between the two seashells. And we're going to insert our hook and pull through and pull through again, just doing one single crochet. And you want to watch to make sure you don't twist the chain as you go, so just be careful with that. So the next one we're going to do one, two, three, four chains, and then skip all this and we're going to go to this next section here and find the fourth chain, one, two, three, Four. insert our hook and do one single crochet and just keep going from there so we're going to chain four and I feel like that got twisted so to just watch if you um, feel like it's twisted you can see your work along here if it's twisted, it'll look like like that. Just make sure it's all lined up correctly. We've got one, two, three, four. And you just keep going with this till you get to the end. And then when you get to the last one, you're going to do a single crochet in this um, very first chain you made. So it's that's the first chain you made, and then you crocheted all along here and then came back. So this end chain right here, end or beginning, whatever way you want to look at it, just do one single crochet right there. And then we're going to turn our work. We're not going to do another chain. We are just going to turn it back around and then take our, our tail here and kind of put it over our work here. Go around and insert our hook in that single crochet, that one you just made, and then we're going to do another single crochet and we're going to crochet over this tail so that way it'll be out of the way when we finish. So one single crochet, and then you want to single crochet three single crochets all along here, like in this middle space. One, two, three. And then this is the single crochet you made, and you are going to do one single crochet just inside that one. And 
and then you're going to chain you're going to sorry i keep saying chain <laughs> you are going to single crochet all along here in this chain section and you're going to do four single crochets one two three four and you notice i'm still crocheting over this tail so at that point you can probably just cut it if it bothers you so i think i will cut it because it is tucked in there pretty good so it won't come out And now we're back to that single crochet. So just do one single crochet inside there. And do another four single crochets in the chain space. And just keep going till you get to the end. And now that you're almost to the end, you have this loopy chain right here, and we're just going to do three single crochets right here. Actually, four. Four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And at that point, you're going to do one more chain right here, and then we're going to trim our thread here and just pull that. Now we're going to make the part where you can tie it around your neck. So we're going to set this down and actually we're going to set it this way because we're going to crochet starting from this side when we join it together. So take your thread again. So you're going to make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain about 14 inches of thread, which came out for me, it was about 75 chains. And you can measure from what you did, if it's 14 inches or not. And if it's not, keep going. If it's too long, you can take some out. And there's 75, so let's see if that's about the same length I had before. A little bit longer, but that will work. And if it ends up being too long, it's fine because you're just gonna knot it on the end, so you can just knot it and then cut off however much you want. So what we're gonna do is take our work that we've just made here and start from where you cut off that tail you're going to fold the tail back over because we're going to crochet over that so it's out of the way. And start from that last single crochet you made and insert your hook right there. And then we're going to do a single crochet over that. And make sure your tail is over your work so you're hiding that tail. And then from there you're just going to single crochet in each of the single crochets you made. So this is like the simple part, just single one single crochet in each single crochet as you go all the way till the end. And almost to the end, we have one two more actually. This last one. I know black yard in is really hard to see. So that was our last one. And then we're going to chain again another 75 chains. And there we go. Got to 75. Cut that. And then you want to pull this tight and pull your other end tight. And you can tie a little knot. Um, actually, you can figure out if that's the length you want it. You can measure it up on your neck if you want to look in the mirror and see how, how long it is and stuff. 
And if that's a good length, you can tie it. What I like to do is tie it right towards the end of the chain. And that, may, that makes it stay better. So tie it the knot to land about here. Perfect. Then you can cut the extra string there. And then your necklace is all ready. Now, if you want, you can use a little spray starch or something. If you feel like it's kind of curling up a bit. I know this, sometimes the ends try to curl up. But really, if you're wearing it, it um, the weight of the shell should kind of pull it down. So that way it doesn't do that. And you can tie it in a little bow behind your neck. And whatever length you want it, you can make it a choker, make it tight, or you can make it a little bit longer. So it's up to you. And I hope you like the tutorial. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And also ring that notification bell because that way you'll know when the next video comes out. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.